See, such a beautiful day outside in her story, but you got to remember there's just a huge fire danger out yeah, there, yeah. too. Firefighters right now working on a wildfire. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, and it's on and on and on. These guys, you know, and they know if they could go 24 hours, they would, but it is the case. Very windy right now. Red flag warnings, fire dangers all in West Texas. Heard, we smelled a little bit of that smoke this morning as well. If you were up and about early enough when the front blew in, you possibly uh, even were concerned about it, maybe enough to call 911. It's always good to do that, but... It really is best to see the smoke or to see fire. And uh, in this case, it was actually that which blew in from the west. But either way, you know, it was there. It's been a big concern. Out uh, to the east of us, that storm system that didn't even drop hardly. I don't even know if we got a sprinkle out of it. I think we did. I think I saw a couple of dots on my windshield. Maybe you got a little bit of a light mist. I'm quite sure nobody is satisfied with the rain that we got out of it in whatever fashion. But it has now raced off to the east. And now for the folks in Mississippi and also into Alabama, not good. They have tornado warnings. Those are the uh, counties lit up in red. Take a look at some of these storm cells. I've been watching some of the storm chasers out there as that uh, storms have been rolling through and not good. The tornado warnings just keep pushing forward and we're not into the afternoon heating yet. Well, they are. I mean, obviously time zones got them a, a little advantage on time, but this is not the hottest part of the day and that could heat things up even more so, make it an even greater clash of air masses. Red flag warning, as I mentioned, uh, very dry conditions. We do have any concerns for fire out there to be uh, really made worse by the high winds, and that's for really the southern half of the state all the way to West Texas. We talked about uh, all the problems that we had out in West Texas, and now it looks like it's spread over through our area as well. That, of course, because of the high winds. 77 degrees right now, winds out of the north northwest at 12 miles per hour. Humidity low, 16 percent. That means when a fire starts, you've got very dry air. The air is dry, which makes it uh, burn better, if you will. And then the winds tend to uh, keep things moving. So if you've ever seen that, if you've ever seen a grass fire or a brush fire in a windy condition, it's frightening. It's, it's almost uh, lifelike the way it uh, eats through all the brush and moves so quickly. Temperatures right now are running in the low 70s to 77 here in Austin. We do have a 77 in LaGrange. We have a 75 in Llano, but uh, typically temperatures have been running cooler the further north you go. We have a 79 in San Marcos. We were down to the 50s earlier, but 60s otherwise. And the state, of course, saw just a few sprinkles locally, and the front is now to the south of us. Our forecast model, honestly, there's nothing on here. It's going to be pretty much a beautiful weekend. I just hate that we have the fires uh, in one direction, and then we have really tornadic weather, severe weather. There were two people killed when a tree fell on their home this morning. Early this morning out of these storms. Um, I hate to say it, but it's likely more things like that could happen. So 82 for the high today. Beautiful weather for us. Winds out of the north at 10 to 20. Tonight is going to be a cold night. 44 for tonight. Upper 30s are possible. Pets and plants need to make sure that those are taken care of uh, as we get through to the early morning hours. Might be a little stressful for both. Both. <laughs> now, nice conditions. 82 today, 83 tomorrow after that morning low in the 40s, and into Sunday, 50s to 80s. Now, it does warm up a little bit on Monday, upper 80s. We have see a slight chance for showers Tuesday into Wednesday, and then 80s still as we get into the latter part of next week.